Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV and welcome to Go Low. Uh, Pierce, what do we have in store today? Trouble shots today, Andy. I hit a bad shot. What Did you? Gonna do? Uh, occasionally <laughs> I do. So we've got to get under these trees. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so welcome to a very windy but sunny day here at the Asprey, and it's time for Go Low, and this is where we answer questions on your game to help you go low. It sure is, guys. Don't forget to get involved. Go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter using the hashtag Go Low, and we could be answering your questions on your game. Definitely, and also, guys, if you don't already, follow us on Periscope, a new app uh, that, that allows you to watch us live, and also go and check us out on Snapchat for some behind-the-scenes footage of what we're doing. So, Pierce, Go Low here. Go low. We're on course, situation. Thought we'd bring to you something you could relate to on the golf course. We had a question from Emil Johns from Instagram saying, uh, can you show us how to play a low shot under some overhanging branches where we need to keep the golf ball low? And we thought, well, why not come out here Let's to the it. first at the Asprey? We faced with a relatively close shot, but really we can't go up in the air. We, the, the, the height isn't an option yeah, yeah, here, is it? So, absolutely. Piers, talk us through the shot. Okay, so we've got a 55 yard shot. We have got overhanging branches. Um, we've got some semi-rough in front of us. It has rained overnight, so it is a bit damp, but we've got a situation, as you said there, Andy, where loft is not your friend. Normally 55 yards, pitch, sand wedge, lob wedge, pitch it up in the air. Okay, that's not going to happen here because of the branches. Now, a lot of people, even though they're aware the branch is there, they'll still go with too much loft. So they'll often hit a sand wedge, a wedge, a nine iron, hit an amazing, technically good shot, great strike, hit the tree, drop down because it was totally the wrong choice. And a lot of the time, this is because people have been conditioned that you get close to the green, okay, it's a pitching wedge, and you yeah. should use it hit your pitching wedge, but do you know what? There are no rules on what golf club you should use. This is a situation, and we have to treat it in its own entirety, that okay. actually we're going to find the best club that's going to suit the situation. And okay. in this case, Pierce, it's not a sandwich. It's a seven iron. Okay. Okay, so on a seven iron, approximately 36 degrees of loft. So if I sort of stand that straight up there, the angle coming out there is 36 degrees. That should be enough in this instance to miss those branches. But what we're going to do, we're going to guarantee that by how we set up and then how we swing. Okay. So if we were to move my feet toward the target so the ball is back in the stance and then lean the handle forward, you've noticed what I've done to the loft. I've taken it all off the club. I'm going to choke down the handle, which is great to give the mindset of having a shorter swing and give me more control of the loft and keep the loft off. But yep. from this setup now, as soon as I then lean into that left side now even more, I'm now creating this lower trajectory as I okay, go through the shot. steeper angle of attack. It's also going to ensure a better contact that you can strike that ball first, followed by the ground, which is crucial in this shot also. Yeah, absolutely. By leaning forward, by leaning everything forward, if I'm in the rough playing a 7-iron chip and run, I do want that club going up on the backswing and down on the backswing, on, okay. on the through swing. So talk us about the, the motion then, Piers. What do we need to think about in the actual technique? Okay, so we start with the handle forward. Now your objective is really to simply feel that you keep the handle forward throughout the shot. So as I swing back, you'll notice the hands are ahead of the club head. As I swing back down to impact, you'll notice the handle is forward. And as I swing through, I'm doing my best to keep my hands forward. Eventually the club head will go past, but we do not want the club head going past the hands until after we've struck the golf ball. And one key thing you're going to find the difference here, guys, if you're used to using a pitching wedge from this distance and you've got a seven iron in your hands, the swing has to be a lot shorter because the ball's going to come out hot. We've got a l less loft on here. It's going to come out hot and it's going to roll a lot. So it's going to be more like a chip yeah. shot here. Yeah, I think the, the key with this is make sure you practice it. So get on the golf course, put yourself in this situation, hit a couple of shots and get used to it and find out what clubs work for you because we know for a fact my 7 iron goes lower than most because of how much I do that naturally, yeah? Shall I have a go, yeah? Yeah, let's give it a go, so yeah. So I'm going to aim a little bit left to allow for sort of wind, slope and the semi-rough. Let's see what happens. Lean forward, de-loft it. I've actually pushed it a little bit. That's, with these greens, that's going to go to the back of the green. A little bit firm. That's fine, 20 feet, 25 feet from the flag, but there's no chance it was going to hit those trees. Exactly, you've made sure you've kept out of the danger Golden there. rule, objective done. Maybe more practice needed on that one. Okay guys, hope that helps. Make sure you get that low loft and you de-loft it when you play that shot. Post your comments down below. Give us the thumbs up, hit the like button if you enjoyed that. And guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It is free and it allows you to ask us these questions. Definitely. And also guys, for more great videos on short game, long game, and if you have a slice, make sure you check out our Turn Your Slice Into A Draw video series on meandmygolf.com. Click the link in the corner here, it'll take you straight to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys.